Bonjour, this is my vintage, vintage tutorial on Premiere for video and I've got a little video clip of a horse eating some grass. Right here. That. Turn the sound off. There we go. Horse living the dream. So we're just going to apply a little vintage effect to this. Uh, so we're going to go onto the effects panel down here and we're going to type in curves and we're just going to drag that effect onto the clip and here it'll pop up and you've got your master which will just change the brightness and contrast a very good way of changing brightness and contrast and you've got your separate channels as well so we're going to use all four to hopefully create something which look quite good so often with vintage stuff the shadows are faded so to do that if we just kind of go to the bottom left hand corner of this master one just move it up anything really dark of which there isn't a huge amount in this picture um, fades Okay, so the shadow detail becomes a grey rather than a black. So that's your first point of call. You can sometimes do this this end as well. And I think pure white will sort of be muted a little bit. We'll do that in a little bit, shall we? Okay. Next, you want to make an S shape in the red. So we get that sort of effect. Again, it's preference with this. You can play around and change, change these effects quite a lot. The green has quite a big difference, as it would do in this particular shot as well. Uh, being so much green in there. So we're going to make an S shape in that one. And then when it comes to the blue, we're going to start off the same way as the first one. Drag that up and it makes the shadows very blue, as you can see if I do that. And then a slight bending down of that, just like you can try the S shape on this one, but just a general lower curve on that one tends to work quite well. So already we've got something that's not, not bad. Turn it on and off effect for vintage. It's slightly faded. It's got that sort of slight look to it as well. What we could then do is go back into the effects panel and type in tint. And we can drag that on as well. And it'll go black and white. Uh, we obviously don't want black and white. You could do. It's a good vintage effect, that's for sure. Uh, you've got a percentage amount on that one just there on tint effect and you can just turn that down and this is purely by how much you're lowering the saturation so if we take that to say 20% or something again if I turn that on and off you'll see the slight difference coming through on there so that that's it quick and easy uh, I've got a pre-made one <laughs> my blue Peter effect um, and there it is it's a bit jumpy because it's not rendered but you get the effect Magic. Enjoy the vintage.